focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. V Business presents V T Walk Executive Tour. Media partner CNBC TV18. Hello and welcome to VT Walk, the Executive Turp, a series presented by We Business. In the last episode, VT Walk, we took to the greens in the vibrant cities of Mumbai and Bengaluru. There, some of the top business minds delved into the theme growth while amplifying the need for digitalization and the Bharat story. This week, we have landed in Delhi to venture deeper into the intricacies of Industry 4.0 and decode the opportunities and challenges that it entails. Happy to be back. Welcome to the episode 2 of VT Walk Executive Tour. Last week, we teed off from Bangalore into Mumbai at the BPGC course. Today, we are at the lovely ITC Classic at Manasar where we are teeing off the last leg of this year's edition. 200 plus business leaders bringing forward their best game, not just in golf, but also in their thoughts on what is shaping our theme for this year. On the executive turf panel today, we will hear industry advisors, government officials, and business leaders talk more about digitization, digital transformation, and Industry 4.0 and how it would shape India Inc's future. Amid strategic plays and friendly camaraderie, the golf course transformed into a bustling hub for networking. The spirited game of Texas Scramble not only fueled a competitive spirit, but also fostered connections and collaboration among all participants. Now we have tried to understand the criticality of technology that would enable digital transformation, especially in the realm of automation and industry 4.0. We Business India has spent years delivering innovative solutions based on the partnership philosophy. And well, to talk more about the capabilities that Vodafone Idea Limited and We Business has created to partner on the India growth story, we have with us Mr. Jagbir Singh, Chief Technology Officer of Vodafone Idea Limited. How is it that Vodafone Idea Limited is, um, you know, embracing these technologies to cater to the evolving needs of its customers? So what we are doing is, first thing is we are doing the cloudification of our all the infrastructure because you want to collect the information on the real-time basis and have as much as possible. So you need to ensure that infrastructure is supporting. So having the cloud in the network is very important. And the second is we need to ensure that whatever uh, the platforms we have, they are all software enabled. All the solutions and the platform which are coming is around the uh, digitization, automation, and ensuring that we take the decisions on a real-time basis. In order to do any decision more intelligently, real-time basis, you need to have a lot of data collection. Mm -hmm. And that is part of the industry 4.0. So we were using the machine learning in the past to take the more intelligently all the decisions as much as possible real-time basis. Mm -hmm. And trying to be now more uh, productive going forward to take the decision by the machines rather than people taking the decision. So therefore, the AI, generative AI, and going forward machine learning, these are the actually the real solutions which will help to take all the data and make the decisions on behalf of the people and predict the right insights about their operations or the productivity or the new service and applications. Thank you so much for your insights today.
In an era defined by technological advancements, changing consumer preferences and global markets, the Indian business landscape is undergoing a profound transformation. Let us find out from some industry leaders more about their strategies, innovations and opportunities that will propel their business towards success and how is it that they are unlocking the ready for next growth story for India Inc. Yes, I think uh, one of the things Industry Revolution 4.4 does is that it brings in a lot of technology and digitization. Uh, one of the good things about digitization is that it's a horizontal capability and it affects every single part of your chain, whether it is the way you source, whether it's the way you make or it's the way you ship or it's the way you sell, every single part. So there are efficiencies to be had in cost as well as you know, superior efficiencies in the manufacturing and sourcing. And equally, digitization, what it does is it gets you closer to the consumer. And more important, you get much more customer data. And one of the things about 4.0 uh, is that you will see a lot more of the internet of things. Right. Like, for example, Vodafone Idea is driving a lot of that. All the telecom operators will drive that. Right. So I think the internet of things will just explode. We have a billion people with mobile phones. I think the internet of things will take it to Many yeah, billions. Yeah, yeah. I think, as you all know, um, India has always been about domestic consumption story. Right. And as the per capita income is growing from $2,500 to hopefully $4,000 in the next seven years, the domestic consumption driven next dot growth is going to be a huge part of India's uh, macro growth story. So that's right. something that's absolutely critical. Mm -hmm. The second part is the geographic decoupling that's happened. Uh, India has played it really well, okay. you know. Um, it's seen as a China plus one solution. A um, lot of manufacturing companies are coming in our industrial portfolio. Right. We have a huge number of MNC who want to set up their operations in India to support domestic opportunity as well as export opportunity out of yeah. India. We yeah. Business presents VT Walk Executive Term. Media partner, CNBC TV 18. V Business presents VT Walk Executive Term. Media partner, CNBC TV 18. Well, welcome back to the VT Walk Executive Turf, an exclusive segment featuring business leaders exchanging ideas on unlocking ready for next growth story for India Inc. Today, we will delve deeper into the growth story of the India Inc, focusing on the impact of digitization and technological advancement shaping the industries and driving innovation. Well, joining us today in this extremely insightful discussion is an esteemed panel of experts and industry leaders. We have with us, of course, Arvind Nevatia. He is the Chief Enterprise Business Officer at Vodafone Idea Business. Thank you for joining us, Arvind. We have with us Mr. Mahavir Singhvi. He is the Joint Secretary at New Emerging and Strategic Technologies Division, Ministry of External Affairs. And of course, we have with us uh, Mr. Arvind Saxena. He is the former MD and President at General Motors. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Well, um, I'm going to begin with you, Arvind. Firstly, it's great to have you back. Um, you know, in our previous conversation, we touched upon how the growth story of India, Inc., has kind of panned out in tier two and three cities. Now, can you further elaborate on some of the ways uh, digitization and automation is being embraced uh, by companies and how is it that it is revolutionizing the India Inc? Firstly, thanks Swati, it's great to be back. And of course, you know, most of us, at least in my generation, we grew up reading in economics, the fact that the Asian ASEAN tigers and China, they are racing away right. with the manufacturing plot. I think the Make in India, the structural policy framework is definitely helping us now in the last few years make up for that lost time. Right. If we look at the speed at which technology is getting democratized, right. technology adoption now across countries, across markets is much faster. Right. And I see a lot of different organizations and sectors embracing Industry 4.0 solutions right. in manufacturing. In fact, I should talk about what we do ourselves as a large telecom organization. Right. Many different technologies like AI, ML and blockchain, we are using ourselves in our own operations. Right. One of our promoter group, one of the most respected large promoter groups in the country, mm -hmm. 
different manufacturing locations are using multiple industry 4.0 solutions. Yes. And therefore, this is a pace that I think will only get faster and faster in the coming days. Absolutely. Rightly said, it will get only faster in the coming years. Um, uh, Mr. Sigmi, I'd like to come to you now. Now, Indian government has been taking various and rather some significant steps to bolster smart manufacturing in India. Uh, well, of course, and the fact that we are, we've entered the 10th year of Make in uh, India initiative this year and uh, the recently launched PLI scheme in 2020, which is of course uh, present in about uh, 14 sectors. How do you um, see collaborative efforts like these between the government and the Indian manufacturers, um, you know, helping India position itself as a global manufacturing hub. And how is it that Indian manufacturers can capitalize uh, on these emerging opportunities to grow in this dynamic landscape? Well, thank you, Swati, uh, for having me here. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here on this panel discussion. Uh, as uh, point pointed out by Mr. Navithia, uh, India is, uh, you know, uh, growing very fast and as you look at uh, you know the vision of uh, prime minister uh, the viksit bharat 2047 vision there is a great uh, you know emphasis on uh, technology adoption and making that happen in the times to come and in that direction the government has taken a lot of initiative of course make in india is one of the initiatives that the government has taken there has been a lot of incentives which have been provided to the industry to make uh, you know india, make in india happen similarly the government has launched a, a program if i am sure you must be aware of that it's called ai mission yes. and the idea behind is that to make uh, ai uh, you know uh, kind of available to the industry in all its sphere there are a layout of around 10000 crores more than 10376 crores exactly speaking and uh, there is a lot of emphasis on the compute infrastructure to be developed. There is an infrastructure uh, layout for uh, GPUs to be acquired and making those available to our startups, our industry, you know, to work upon and to see that all these new solutions, new technologies are democratically available to all and everyone to progress and to innovate and to actually make change happen in India. Absolutely. Um, well. Uh Shifting gears, in a way, uh, or rather literally. Uh, you know, um, Arvind, as somebody who has been, uh, or who rather is a veteran of the automobile industry, and you have witnessed uh, remarkable uh, growth that has occurred in the automobile industry. You have, in fact, experienced it firsthand. Now, uh, how do you perceive the current state of the industry? And uh, uh, what trends do you foresee in shaping its uh, future growth trajectory? I think automobile has really come a long way in the last, if you really see, last 10 years, uh, both from the point of technology which is being used in this and also from the point of product offering which is now available in this country. And I think uh, what has really happened over the year, the technology has really helped, you know, bring about these changes in this industry while uh, how do you, uh, you know, uh, really design a product when knowing your customer how do they you know go through choosing a particular products or technology I think digitization has really helped this uh, whole process in this way um, I want to come back to you Arvind you know you spoke about how digitization and um, uh, the internet of things is kind of uh, you know shaping the overall landscape of India Inc now are there some uh, specific successful examples that you could share with us wherein companies have embraced digitization and automation in enhancing their operational efficiency. Digital transformation and industry 4.0 is as much outside the plant as, as it is much, inside yeah. the plant. Yeah. I think this is an aspect which is, is building up in many different ways. If you look at the entire logistics industry and, and we have a whole suite of IoT you know, solutions where we are partnering with customers <laughs> in terms of how do we make safety, how do we make efficiency of fleet management come to life right. uh, in a multimodal environment. So that is, I think, a big piece and, and of, of course the government also has a huge role to play and, and is doing that in terms of the physical infrastructure and bringing the overall cost of manufacturing 
down in the country. Now, the connected car market has witnessed a substantial growth rate of 60% in Q1 of 2023. The market, while it's still at its nascent stage, uh, I feel this percentage is remarkable. Now, uh, how do you envision the connected car technology accelerating the growth of automotive industry in India? I think connected cars has really changed the way customers are used to experience their cars in India or anywhere else, I would say. And uh, that is what is creating, a, I would say, consumer interest and consumer interface is very different for the connected car. And uh, going forward, it also allows manufacturers to also understand what are the customer needs and what changes they should bring about in their product. And uh, I think it, it's a great future. That's some great insights there. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us today and uh, talking to us. In the ever-changing business landscape, what with the influx of emerging technology and evolving consumer behavior, one thing remains constant customers being at the heart of the business. And to speak further with us on this, we have Divya Sethi, who is the EVP and Head Enterprise and Strategic Accounts for WeBusiness. What is the WeBusiness partnership philosophy for its customers? We are driven by customer centricity philosophy for our customers. The core definition behind it is to, to create value profitably. It comes to life in four customer life cycle stages, starting from sell, build, run and recommendation. In Cell, we are offering customized solutions based on understanding customer problems and uh, giving them solutions which fit in to their, their expectations. In the second stage of uh, build, we ensure that customer onboarding for our solutions is smooth. The third stage, which is run stage, is the most critical stage wherein the value is realized over, the, over a longer period of time. And in that stage, we are driven by speed, empathy, high touch, and responsive, responsiveness characteristics. Uh, and once all of this is done and the customer has realized the value, the fourth stage, which is the most desirable and important stage for us is RICO. We expect that our, with, with this value creation, uh, customers will be really talking high about us. During the event's excitement, the players infused some fun with a quick off the course segment. They shared insights into their golf styles, adding an enjoyable twist to the occasion. Well, you're talking about one common strategy. If you want a good score in golf, you have to do something called course management, which is not go for glory in every shot, but manage the course, play percentage golf. And when you're in business, you do exactly that. You look at all the stats that there are, you look at your gut and you take a call. So my style of play and decision making pretty much go hand in hand on the course, off the course, in the business. Golf is all about taking risks, knowing your game, knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, also experimenting at times. Um, I think that's what matters in business also. Strategy is uh, you, know, you focus, you focus and you focus. And be honest uh, to yourself, you know. It, it's a, Golf is a game about integrity. When, when no one is watching you, God is watching you. You know, how true and how honest uh, you are uh, to the game. I guess, uh, as in business, there are just too many variables and you have to kind of consider what all possibilities might exist. You have to stay adaptable, stay resilient, stay focused. And I guess that's what I try to do also in golf. And the days when I play golf well, then, you know, all of these things come together, like in business strategy. Now, as the digital landscape continues to evolve, businesses are faced with the imperative to adapt and embrace new and emerging technologies to offer innovative solutions. And to understand the intricacies of this and trace its strengths, I now have with me Rocha Kapoor, Executive Vice President and Head, Connectivity, Security, Cloud and Business Operations at WeBusiness. How do you feel that the evolving need of digitization is driving the adoption of new and emerging technologies across divisions? Organizations are continuously in a growth phase and evolution and transformation it's a continuous journey that's yeah. happening now as they evolve and grow what happens they grow in their number of people they grow in number of branches they grow in number of applications they put in the cloud or the services they offer so the fundamental need of enterprises is connectivity and managing that connectivity and configuring managing it from a centralized operations and the connectivity is moving from a standard one to hybrid connectivity, any type of connectivity yeah. This is where a hybrid SD-WAN solutions come in play. 
they not only provide the manageability ability to prioritize applications and the traffic but also do it securely and give a operators or organizations local branch out okay second thing is employees today for organizations are working from anywhere right. effectively it means that you need to have security because across everywhere because your threat surfaces have increased yes. this is where we provide we secure platform which provides solutions security solutions all the way from the network yeah. to the device and the elements in the middle Now we business india has spent years functioning in the dynamic telecom world not just by building strong partnerships but also by providing robust connectivity to its users in the process of which technology has played a very pivotal role and well to help us understand the role of we iot i have with me amit satpati executive vice president head of iot business amit uh, you know digitization has played a very important role uh in india's growth story and uh, iot particularly uh, is a very integral component in the same uh, what i want to understand from you is that how is we iot uh, spiraling the adoption of digitization uh, amongst its enterprises so right. our role starts first in providing the core connectivity okay. where 90% of the digitization requires a core connectivity like iot sim or a dual profile sim so we are the number one guy in e sim and today these days uh, that's the maximum adopted Uh, form factor of uh, connectivity and when it comes to spiraling growth our formula is very simple and the answer lies in this word that we ensure that we provide a very safe and secure solution and we test the security at an application level device level network level right. then comes the platforms we have a plethora of platforms to help the customer maneuver their journey so whether it is a connectivity management platform or a device management platform right. then comes any successful adoption will happen when there is you know successful integration with the internal ecosystem so we have very deep integration capabilities in our organization okay. which helps the customer to leverage because it's a very complex fragmented world then comes why will anybody adopt hmm. they will adopt either to save money right. uh, increase productivity right. or increase revenue yeah. so we help them generate new revenue models uh, which helps them you know, recover the cost of deploying any kind of automation The participants shared their experiences with V Business India and summed up their takeaways from the VT walk bringing a lively end to a memorable day. Brilliant. Amazing 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 phenomenal. As the Delhi leg of the series drew to a close, the 13th edition of VT walk, the executive turf concluded by honoring the remarkable players v business india not only nurtured healthy competition but also put a spotlight on the dedication and skill that make them true champions and with that we wrap up the vt walk the executive turf filled with insightful discussions on india's digital journey particularly focusing on how industry 4.0 is helping businesses accelerate digital transformation from watching industry leaders strategize on the golf course to unraveling the ready for next growth narrative for indian businesses it has been an enriching experience thank you all for joining us in this journey we business presents vt walk executive tour media partner cnbc tv18 Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.